Hello everybody, I will very soon be going on air with uh, Neil Mitchell, uh, who is a radio presenter based in Melbourne. And I'm excited and to, to talk about this new study we are doing about COVID-19 and tinnitus. And I think it's a great opportunity to reach out to uh, the community and radio stations are one of the best ways to, to do that. So let's see how that goes. I would like to invite every single person in Australia who has tinnitus or uh, if they know someone who has tinnitus to please use this as an opportunity to have your say because your voice really matters. This will inform us in terms of planning better tinnitus care as well as um, opening up new avenues of tinnitus research which we are planning at Flinders University. We have immense team, fantastic collaborations with patient public, professional bodies within Australia to start a more cohesive way of involving patients and public right at the stage of conceptualization of research and have their say. And their voices are extremely, extremely important and valuable insights in terms of um, planning what is needed. So I'm looking forward to that. Have you been injured in a road or work accident? The line and use Morris Blackbird's free claim. Hi Neil, how are you? Three minutes you can check to see if you could have a claim. Visit Morris Blackbird.com.au. Morris Blackburn, we fight.
life for fair. Melbourne's 3AW is a member of the Nine Corporate Group and has cross-media relationships with Nine's television stations and with Nine's newspapers, including The Age and the Australian Financial Review. Considering a family holiday away, stop parking that thought and start planning that trip. Whether you're going away for a while or just a weekend, now is the time to organise your airport parking. Enjoy full flexibility, absolute convenience and priceless peace of mind with Melbourne Airport Secure Parking from just $12 a day. To take advantage of the best single day rate available, visit melbourneairport.com.au and save money for making memories with your loved ones. T's and C's apply. Home in need of a makeover? Voyager Interiors has the solution. Showcasing furniture from famous brands like Caligaris, Vitre Italia, Bontempi Casa and Bernhardt. Plus, custom upholstery designs from our very own Melbourne factory. Bespoke solutions created for you by Voyager's experienced design team. Refined design, serious comfort, genuine value and quality that lasts. If you're serious about getting the best designer furniture solutions for your home, explore new luxury living at Voyager Interiors, Church Street Richmond. Three Point Motors is celebrating our sixth year anniversary with exceptional pricing and three years complimentary servicing plus more. As the most awarded Mercedes-Benz dealer in 2020, visit us this end of financial year. Go to mb3point.com. Until noon, you're listening to Neil Mitchell. <coughs> Sadly, he died from the scene. Music venues in Victoria <coughs> doing the right thing. They're launching a no QR, no entry policy to ensure a check in rate of 100%. Because, like, well, music... more, they have to. Is everyone doing it, though? No, of course, of course they're not. They're going to make sure they don't because live music's on its next. All of that, Adler. David Armstrong, thank you. You, know, you found out about uh, Christian Petrarca's injury? Yeah, no, but I will check a Melbourne fan around there doing sport at the moment. I'm sure quite well, sure. Well, up because they're all no, folks on Jack Viney. <laughs> Thank you very much, David Arms. Okay, tinnitus, let's go through. We've been talking about it all morning. Uh, give me a call. Flinders University is looking at study with a potential link between lockdown and tinnitus. Did it amplify your tinnitus, make it worse? On the line. Good morning, Neil. How are you? Um, absolutely, Neil. We all know that COVID-19 has been a big disruptor in the past year and a half. It has impacted um, our social interactions, financial security, access to health care, mental health and well-being, just to name a few things. And uh, there, are, there is some pilot data which shows that uh, it has actually changed the soundscape of people. And as a result, a lot of people are experiencing that their tinnitus has been worsened because of that.
Now, what happens is, Neil, there's a, there's a close connection between um, our auditory system, where we, where we hear and process sound, and our limbic system, where the emotions are connected to those sounds. And as a result of sound change in the soundscape, what I mean by that is when people get out of their houses, they go to, say, train station, the environmental noise, day-to-day -day things, that has an impact of masking some of the tinnitus and diverting people's attention away from tinnitus. But for some people, when you are encountering lockdown situation where you are trapped in your homes and you don't have uh, those social opportunities, then it starts um, becoming a lot more obvious. Uh, well, tinnitus, the thing with tinnitus is most of the people will experience tinnitus in their lifetime at least once. It could be after, say, um, a nice night out at a, at a pub or a concert, but for majority of them, it disappears on its own and it's not a problem. But for some people, and that number is one in six in Australia, which is massive, it lingers on and it starts interfering in their day-to-day -day life, in their communication, in their paying attention, ability to sleep, and that's when they become a real problem. Uh, well, tinnitus uh, is mostly tinnitus is linked with some kind of damage to our hearing. And traditionally speaking, as the age advances, we are likely to have age-related hearing loss or uh, hearing loss because of noise exposures and things like that. And that's why it's a little bit more common in the older people. Having said that, it is becoming way more frequent and common now in younger people as well because of exposure to noise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I have a feeling you might have tinnitus. Well, it depends upon how you're looking after your hearing nail. Um, uh, there are, so our, our hearing system can take a certain intensity of sound for certain duration. If we cross that, that's when it, it is very likely to result into permanent damage to our hearing. And often people have complained that exposure to noise is linked with triggering tinnitus as well. Oh, there are lots of reasons which can be um, linked to tinnitus. It could be something as simple as having impacted wax in your ear or middle ear infection to, say, uh, uh, a jaw-related issues to lots of other factors, such as, as I said, hearing loss. Um, it could be after a surgical procedure, a side effect of medication, and, and, and the list goes on and on. There, there are lots of management options available for tinnitus. One thing is for sure, we don't have a cure for tinnitus yet, and there's a lot of research going on in that direction, but there are several management options which are available for people with tinnitus. Um, as I said, uh, one point of um, line of um, contact could be that if there are some underlying medical issues, once we try to resolve them, it's very likely that tinnitus may disappear. And for people who have hearing problems, um, often going for a well-suited hearing aid, which is programmed appropriately for not only their hearing, but also their tinnitus, can be helpful. And then there are lots of other options available. People, there are um, lots of uh, options such as cognitive behavioral therapy, tinnitus retraining therapy. And then there are lots of innovative research tools which I am exploring. So currently I'm funded by Royal National Institute for the Deaf and Rose Tree um, Trust. It's a UK-based foundation, and they have given me three years of funding where we are looking at non-invasive brain stimulation and how that can impact and have an, uh, can interplay between people's perception of tinnitus and reducing it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we, we, we are doing a series of those studies here at Flinders University. However, today I would really want to emphasize on COVID-19 and the lifestyle changes COVID-19 has uh, created and its impact on tinnitus. This is a fantastic opportunity for every single Australian tinnitus sufferer to have their say because based on their inputs, based on their voices, it will be really, really inform if informative uh, strategy for us to then uh, plan uh, what, what should be the next step in the, in the research and how we could create more personalized care for people with tinnitus.
Oh, thank you so much, Dean. Very kind of you. Bye. Hi, Giselle. simple question. Thank you, Raj. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Have a great day, mate. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, so that went well. Um, it's it's amazing that how you get very limited time. And in that limited time, you have to really share the highlights of your work. So I think it's an art and we, we, we can all become better at it. And I think scientific community requires better training. So when we have students who are doing bachelor's, master's and research and PhD with us, we need to train them. We need to make more availability of resources to, to their disposal so that they can become better at it. But it was a fantastic experience. Thank you. Bye.